What is hibernation? Hibernation, from the Latin term hiberna, meaning winter, is a period of dormancy practiced by animals to overcome wintry environmental conditions. Hibernation involves a decrease in metabolic rate. The rate of burning calories, heart rate, respiration, and other functions, e. g. urine production, rate of digestion. These rates dive so low that the animal's body temperature approaches that of its surroundings. Small animals whose increased metabolic rate forces them to find an alternative to Starving during the winter months are more likely to hibernate than larger animals. Many rodents and bats hibernate, as do some Australian marsupials. Hummingbirds and some other species of birds hibernate as well. As for bears, while they are certainly less active during the winter, they do not truly hibernate. Instead, they take very long naps known as winter sleep. Have fungi been effective in biocontrol? Biocontrol is defined as the use of one living organism to kill or control another organism. Fungi that parasitize insects are a valuable weapon for biocontrol. The spores of a parasitic fungus are sprayed on pest insects. The fungus then attacks and controls its host. A fungus was identified as killing populations of silkworms in as early as 1834. The spores of the same fungus are now used as a Mycoinsecticide a parasitic fungus used to kill insects to control Colorado potato beetles. The spores of other fungi are used to control spittle bugs. Leaf hoppers, citrus rust mites, and other insect pests. Is there a cat that lives in the desert? The sand cat, Felis margarita, is the only member of the cat family tied directly to desert regions. Found in the deserts of North Africa, the Arabian Peninsula, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan. And western Pakistan, the sand cat has adapted to extremely arid desert areas. The padding on the solace of its feet is well suited to the loose sandy soil. And it can live without drinking freestanding water. Having sandy or grayish ochre dense fur, its body length is 17.5 to 22 in, 45 to 57 centimeters. Mainly nocturnal, active at night, the cat feeds on rodents, hares, birds, and reptiles. The Chinese desert cat, Felis biotti, does not live in the desert as its name implies. But inhabits the steppe country and mountains. Likewise, the Asiatic desert cat, Felis sylvestris or nata. Inhabits the open plains of India, Pakistan, Iran, and Asiatic Russia. How has the Human Genome Project changed scientists' estimates of the number of genes in humans?
the Human Genome Project has caused a drastic re-evaluation of the probable number of genes in the genome. As a result of the project, estimates have gone from 100,000 genes to somewhere between 30,000 and 40,000. What are the steps to prepare a specimen for examination? The three basic steps to prepare a specimen are fixation, preservation, staining, and mounting. Preservation prevents destruction or decay of the specimen as well as inhibiting microbiological growth. Different stains and dyes attach to different parts of a cell, such as the nucleus. Specimens are mounted in a medium that is also a preservative and often covered with a cover slip. Fish and Wildlife Service What is the most successful and diverse group of terrestrial vertebrates? Birds, members of the class Aves, are the most successful of all terrestrial vertebrates. There are 28 orders of living birds with almost 10. 000 species distributed over almost the entire Earth. The success of birds is basically due to the development of the feather. How are genes physically found in a specific genome? Finding one gene out of a possible 30,000 to 40,000 genes in the human genome is a difficult task. However, the process is made easier if the protein product of the gene is known. As an example, if a researcher is looking to find the gene for mouse hemoglobin, he or she would isolate the hemoglobin from mouse blood and determine the amino acid sequence. The amino acid sequence could then be used as a template to generate the nucleotide sequence. Working backward again, a complementary DNA probe to the sequence would be used to Identify DNA molecules with the same sequence from the entire mouse genomic library. However, if the protein product is not known, the task is more difficult. An example of this would be that of finding the susceptibility gene for late-onset Alzheimer's disease. DNA samples would be collected from family members of a patient with late-onset Alzheimer's disease. The DNA would be cut with restriction endonucleases and restriction fragment length polymorphisms RFLPs, would be compared among the family. If certain RFLPs are only found when the disease gene is present, then it is assumed that the distinctive fragments are markers for the gene. Geneticists then sequence the DNA in the same area of the chromosome where the marker was found. Looking for potential gene candidates. What does chest beating in gorillas signify? Chest beating in gorillas is part of an aggressive behavior display. It is usually presented by a silverback, male, against unrelated silverbacks. A chest beating display, 
accompanied by hoots and barks, may also be used to impress females. What is a malignant cell? Cancerous cells that reproduce quickly and expand beyond the tissue or organ where they originated are described as malignant. Malignant tumors are more difficult to eradicate because they may colonize organs far removed from their origin. For example, cancers that originate in the lung can quickly spread to the brain and other organs through the circulatory system. What were early ideas on evolution? While some Greek philosophers had theories about the gradual evolution of life, Plato, 427 to 347 B. C. and Aristotle, 384 to 322 B. C. were not among them. In the 1700s, natural theology. The explanation of life as the manifestation of the Creator's plan, held sway in Europe. This idea was the motive force behind the work of Carl Linnaeus, 1707-1778, who was the first to classify all known living things by kingdom. Also popular prior to the work of Charles Darwin, 1809-1882, were the theories of special creation. Creationism, blending inheritance. That offspring were always the mixture of the traits of their two parents, and acquired characteristics. Which antibacterial products are the most effective for general use? Non-residue producing agents, such as hydrogen peroxide and bleach, are effective agents for controlling microbes. Several consumer products with residue producing agents have proved to be effective for specific conditions. For example, antibacterial toothpaste helps control periodontal disease. Antibacterial deodorants suppress odor-causing bacteria, and anti-dandruff shampoos help control dandruff. What is a green building? It is estimated that just building the typical wood-framed house can use enough wood to denude an entire acre of forest while generating up to 7 tons of waste material. Green building involves an integrated approach to design and construction that minimizes resource waste while emphasizing energy conservation and efficiency. Some additional approaches to green building involve solar, water heating systems and more efficient heating and cooling methods. What role do bonds have in bioorganic molecules?
Bonds are important to the structure of bioorganic molecules. Because chemical reactions actually involve electron activity at the subatomic level. Shape determines function. For example, morphine has a shape similar to an endorphin, a natural molecule in the brain. Endorphins are pain suppressant molecules, thus. Morphine essentially mimics the function of endorphins and can be used as a potent pain reliever. Is all DNA found in the nucleus? In addition to the nuclear DNA of eukaryotic cells, mitochondria, an organelle found in both plant and animal cells, and chloroplasts, found in plant and algal cells, both contain DNA. Mitochondrial DNA contains genes essential to cellular metabolism. Chloroplast DNA contains genetic information essential to photosynthesis. What is the difference between an African elephant and an Indian elephant? The African elephant Loxodonta africana, is the largest living land animal. Weighing up to 8.25 tons, 7,500 kilograms, and standing 10 to 13 feet, 3 to 4 m, at the shoulder. The Indian elephant, Elephas maximus, weighs about 6 tons, 5,500 kilograms, with a shoulder height of 10 feet 3 meters. How does a bulb differ from a corm, a tuber, and a rhizome? Each of these structures is a modified stem that grows below ground. Many times the term bulb is applied to any underground storage. Organ in which a plant stores energy for its dormant period. Dormancy is a device a plant utilizes to get through difficult weather conditions. Winter cold or summer drought. A true bulb consists of fleshy scales containing a small basal plate. A modified stem from which the roots emerge, and a shoot. The scales that surround the embryo are modified leaves that contain the nutrients for the bulb during dormancy and early growth. Some bulbs have a tunic, a paper-thin covering, around the scales. The basal plate can also hold the scales together. New bulbs form from the lateral buds on the basal plate. Tulips, daffodils, lilies, and hyacinths are examples of bulb flowers. A corm is actually a stem that has been modified into a mass of storage tissue. The eye or eyes at the top of the corm are growing points. The corm is covered by dry leaf bases similar to the tunic covering of the bulb. Roots grow from the basal plate on the underside of the corm. New corms form on top of or beside the old one. Corm type flowers include gladiolus, phrygia, and crocus. A tuber is a solid underground mass of stem like a corm, but it lacks both a basal plate and a tunic. Roots and shoots grow from eyes, growth buds, 
out of its sides, bottom. And sometimes its top. Some tubers are roundish. Others are flattened and lumpy. Some examples of tubers are gloxinia, caladium, ranunculuses, and anemone. A tuberous root is a swollen root that has taken in moisture and nutrients. It resembles a tuber. New growth occurs on the base of the old stem, where it joins the root. A tuberous root can be divided by cutting off a section with an eye-bearing portion from where the old stem was attached. Dahlias have tuberous roots. A rhizome or a rootstock is a thickened branching storage stem that usually grows laterally along or slightly below the soil surface. Roots develop downward on the bottom surface. While buds and leaves sprout upwards from the top of the rhizome. A rhizome is propagated by cutting the parent plant into sections. Japanese, Siberian, and bearded irises, cannas, calla lilies, and trilliums are rhizomes. What are Cox postulates? Cox postulates are the four basic criteria an organism must meet. In order to be identified as pathogenic, capable of causing disease. The characteristics are as follows, 1. The organism must be found in tissues of animals that have been infected with the disease, rather than in disease-free animals. 2. The organism must be isolated from the diseased animal and grown in a pure culture or in vitro. 3. The cultured organism must be able to be transferred to a healthy animal which will show signs of the disease after having been exposed to the organism. 4. The organism must be able to be isolated from the infected animal. How do scientists differentiate between homology and analogy? Scientists can determine whether a trait is homologous or analogous by comparing it in species. Thought to be of common origin and contrasting it to traits of unrelated species in similar habitats. Who discovered bee dancing? Bee dancing was studied by Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, and colleagues in the 1940s. Details and interpretation of the dance language were published. In the 1967 book The Dance Language and Orientation of Bees. Von Frisch was able to study a group of bees by replacing one of the walls of a hive with glass. How does column chromatography differ from other chromatographic methods? Column chromatography is generally used as a purification technique. It isolates desired compounds from a mixture. Column chromatography separates molecules according to their size and shape. The stationary phase, 
a solid adsorbent, is placed in a vertical glass column and the mobile phase. A liquid, is added to the top and flows down through the column by either gravity or external pressure. The mixture to be analyzed by column chromatography is applied to the top of the column. The liquid solvent, the eluent, is passed through the column by gravity or by the application of air pressure. An equilibrium is established between the solute adsorbed on the adsorbent and the eluting solvent flowing down through the column. Because the different components in the mixture have different interactions with the stationary and mobile phases. They will be carried along with the mobile phase to varying degrees, and a separation will be achieved. The individual components, or elutants, are collected as the solvent drips from the bottom of the column. The estimated number of species identified per phyla as of the early 21st century is as follows, where are amoebas found? Amoebas are found in soil, fresh water, and salt water. They have no definite body shape and continually change form. The term amoeba is derived from the Greek word meaning change, as they move using their pseudopods. Pseudopods, meaning false feet, are projections of cytoplasm. As the cytoplasm extends and fills, the amoeba are moved. The pseudopods also surround and capture food in a vacuole. How numerous are roundworms? Roundworms, or nematodes, are members of the phylum nematoda from the Greek term nematos, meaning thread, and are numerous in two respects. 1. Number of known and potential species, and 2. The total number of these organisms in a habitat. Approximately 12,000 species of nematodes have been named. But it has been estimated that if all species were known, the number would be closer to 500. 000 nematodes live in a variety of habitats ranging from the sea to soil. 6 cubic inches, 100 cubic centimeters, of soil may contain several thousand nematodes. A square yard. 0.85 square meter of woodland or agricultural soil may contain several million of them. Good topsoil may contain billions of nematodes per acre. How many species of plants and animals are threatened or endangered in the United States? The total number of you. S species listed as endangered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is 990, 391 animals. 599 plants. The total number of U.S. species listed as threatened is 275, 128 animals, 147 plants.
How do cancer cells feed themselves? In the 1960s Dr. Judah Folkman, 1933, realized that malignant tumors could not grow without nourishment, which is delivered by the blood. Rapidly growing tumors actually cause the formation of new blood vessels in a process known as angiogenesis. Folkman's hypothesis was that by identifying the substances used to cause angiogenesis, drugs could be formulated to prevent new vessel formation, thus starving the tumors. This work has led to the identification of at least two substances that inhibit angiogenesis, endostatin and angiostatin. These drugs hold promise as new therapies to combat aggressive tumors. What are the differences between the 15 major phyla of protists? The great diversity among the protists has made their grouping and classification difficult. Characteristics used to classify protists include mode of locomotion, presence or absence of flagella and cilia, body form and coverings, pigmentation and the ability to conduct photosynthesis, mode of nutrition, and whether the organism is unicellular or multicellular. What is an example of an antibiotic-resistant pathogen? Staphylococcus aureus, a bacterium that causes a variety of infections, including urinary tract infections and bacterial pneumonia, became resistant to penicillin 50 years ago. Stronger and more effective antibiotics have been developed to treat staph infections caused by the bacterium. What is meant by ecoterrorism? Eco-terrorism is the term used to describe actions taken by individuals or organizations to prevent what may loosely be termed as environmental change. This change may be seen as the clear-cutting of forests for wood products or land, for housing or the use of genetically modified plants or animals for human consumption. Eco-terrorists are those who are willing to take violent and potentially harmful action in order to prevent these types of changes. Beginning in the 1980s industrial sabotage such as tree spiking. The process of inserting metal spikes into trees so that they cannot be cut down by chainsaws, was used to prevent logging. However, tree spiking can seriously injure the loggers who are cutting down such trees. Echo terrorists have also used arson as a tactic. In 1998 echo terrorists burned down a major portion of a new ski resort in Colorado. Which resulted in $12 million in damages. Which tree that is native to the United States has become extinct due to fungus?
the American chestnut, Castinia dentate marsh, was widespread across eastern North America until the early 1900s. This type of chestnut tree made up almost half of the population of hardwood. Forests in central and southern Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and southern New England. In its entire range, the species dominated deciduous forests, making up almost one quarter of the trees. The fungus Cryphonectria parasitica, commonly known as chestnut blight, destroyed nearly every specimen of the American chestnut tree. What are the two major groups of angiosperms? Angiosperms made up of the largest number of plant species. 240,000, are classified into two major groups, monocots and dicots. The description of monocots and dicots is based on the first leaves that appear on the plant embryo. Monocots have one seed leaf, while dicots have two seed leaves. There are approximately 65,000 species of monocots and 175,000 species of dicots. Orchids, bamboo, palms, lilies, grains, and many grasses are examples of monocots. Dicots include most trees that are non-coniferous, shrubs, ornamental plants, and many food crops. What is kin selection? Kin selection is a version of natural selection that measures success not just by individual reproductive effort. How many fertile offspring produced? But that also includes the number of copies of those genes that are located in close relatives. A parent and child, for example, share about 50% of their gene sequences on average. What accounts for the various colors of sponges? Living sponges may be brightly colored green, blue, yellow, orange, red, or purple or they may be white or drab. The bright colors are due to bacteria or algae that live on or within the sponge. What is programmed cell death? Apoptosis, or programmed cell death, is a process by which cells deliberately destroy themselves. The process follows a sequence of events controlled by nuclear genes. First, the chromosomal DNA breaks into fragments, and this is followed by breakdown of the nucleus. The cell then shrinks and breaks up into vesicles that are phagocytosed by macrophages and neighboring cells. While programmed cell death may seem counterproductive at first glance, it plays an important role in maintaining the life and health of organisms during human embryonic development. Apoptosis removes the webbing between the fingers and toes. 
it is also vital to the development and organization of both the immune and nervous systems. What is the most common gene deficiency? Glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, G6PD, is the most common human enzyme deficiency in the world. It is estimated that about 400 million people worldwide are affected by this disorder. The enzyme G6PD is carried on the X allele and is therefore referred to as an slink trait. It is more likely to affect males than females. G6PD is a critical enzyme that catalyzes the oxidation slash reduction reactions resulting in the production of NADF. NADF is a required cofactor in many cellular biosynthetic pathways. The stability of red blood cells is affected by G6PD deficiency. Since red blood cells are especially sensitive to oxidative stress. Clinical problems experienced by people with G6PD. Deficiency include neonatal jaundice and hemolytic anemia.